Hi, welcome to an introductory audio mulch tutorial produced by the Audio Mulch team in Melbourne, Australia. To make sound in Audio Mulch, we use audio generation and processing modules called contraptions. In an Audio Mulch document, we plug these contraptions together in different ways to create a kind of network called a patch. In the previous tutorial, I made a very basic patch comprising just two contraptions. The patch loaded and played a looping sound. In this tutorial, I'm going to make a patch that processes a sound and records the result to a file. I'm starting with the looping sound patch that I made in tutorial 1. Press play on the file player to start the sound playing. If you can't hear the sound, check that the enable audio button is down. Now I'll choose an effect to process the sound. I'm going into the contraptions list under effects and selecting S delay. It's a stereo delay effect. To process my sound, I'll need to route the left and right audio channel outputs of the file player contraption into the left and right inputs of the S delay contraption. I also need to route the output of the S delay into the sound out. To do this, I'm going to need to modify my patch. These connecting lines are called patch cords. You click on one to select it. You can press the delete key on your keyboard to delete it. Or you can right click and select delete from the menu. To create a new patch cord, I'm going to click on the contraption output and drag to another contraption input. Notice how the repatching I did affected the sound in real time. All that connecting and reconnecting of patch cords might not sound very good in a live performance. So I'm going to demonstrate a way to insert a new contraption into a patch seamlessly. I'll start again with the patch how it was. This time I'm going to drag the S delay contraption over the outputs of the file player. When I release the mouse button, Audio Mulch automatically patches my new contraption into the signal flow. I may also want to quickly remove the S delay from the patch. This can also be done seamlessly by right clicking on the contraption I want to remove and selecting Bypass. So I'll reconnect the patch again. Now I want to double click the S delay contraption and open up its properties editor so I can tweak some parameters. If you're not sure what some of these settings do, you can always click this question mark button at the top of the editor. It opens up the help file for the contraption you're using. Now I'm going to make a recording of my processed bamboo chime sound. One way to do this is to use the sound out contraption. I'm double clicking the sound out contraption in the patcher pane to open up the sound out properties editor. Now I'm creating a new sound file which Audio Mulch will write the new sound to. I'm calling it Chimes Delayed. The sound out contraption provides a few different ways to make recordings and you can find out more about these in the sound out contraption reference. But for now I'm going to keep it simple. I'm pressing the red record button on the sound out contraption to start recording. Audio Mulch is now recording the live output of my patch. To end the recording I'll press the stop button on the sound out. Now our new sound has been recorded to a sound file. Now I'll listen back to what I've recorded. First I'll stop the file player by pressing stop on its property editor. Now that we have some peace and quiet, I'll press play on my sound out to play my new file, which as you remember is called Chimes Delayed. And yes, that's what I expected to hear. 
You can also save files out of Audio Mulch using the export to sound file command in the file menu. We'll be covering this in a future tutorial. So that was a basic introduction to processing and exporting sound in Audio Mulch. Be sure to check the Audio Mulch website for other tutorials.